Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Today's project is very special because it was supposed to be just a trial run that I decided to record. I have never made a wreath like that and I have never worked with a decorative mesh. So I figured that I would have to practice over and over before I could even videotape it for you guys to see. But it just shows how simple this project is because first trial and it came out so beautifully. I am in love with it. So you have seen those, uh, the Dollar Tree, the, the reef form, and I'm using the Comesh. I'm using two green, two brown, and then one beige. Now, honestly, that's a total of five. I probably would use six next time around because I think I like it a little bit more uh, filled in, but it's gonna look gorgeous regardless. So like I said, I've never worked with the Comesh before and I didn't realize how sticky that thing is and you're gonna see me fighting with it throughout the project but we're going to just, we're going to start off by making a knot because we have to attach it to our form our uh, metal reef somehow so just take it and uh, attach it twist the twist the tight knot and that's it and that's the start for us well, after trying to figure out where is a good spot for the deco mesh when I'm working on it, so I decided that I'm right-handed, so I'm just below my right hand was the best spot. And now we're just gonna go and start pulling through some deco mesh through the slots. The first one is going to be between the first and second wire, then you're gonna go underneath the second wire and you're gonna pull up some deco mesh between the <clears throat> second and third wire. Now you can pull up as much as you want or as little as you want for a different effect. I think I'm going medium size. I have seen people make them much, much bigger, but since I only had those five rolls of deco mesh, I figured that I should be very careful how I use it. So I was just doing it medium size so when you go through all the three loops we're go you're going to grab them all and you can see how I'm fine <laughs> I'm fighting with the mesh it just sticks to <clears throat> to itself pretty hard actually uh, so I have those three loops and you're just gonna take it and you're gonna squish it and hold it there now when you have that little squish bundle uh, you're gonna take and twist it do a couple of twists below and then we're going to start over uh, in the first slot and from this point on it's the same thing the first loop second loop and third loop then you're gonna squish it to the side here I'm pulling it to the left you're gonna turn it around underneath give that a little support the little squeegee support underneath and then move on and this thing comes together so quickly now I am using two colors together the green and the brown I'm going to come in with the beige or the off-white uh, in a little bit because I wasn't sure if I wanted to incorporate it and I figured that I was just gonna add it later on but you can actually put three colors at the same time this mesh is so thin that I can totally see how you could easily do that make it with three colors right from the beginning you can also play with how thick you want the wreath to, the, to be you know um i was i thought i was making it pretty thick but when i was done with it i kind of felt that you know what i probably could have used another spool of the deco mesh in it um but it looked great regardless So I was totally not kidding you, it really took me less than 15 minutes to put the entire project together. And here I'm going with this cream beige color and I just go from the bottom and just put it through in between the, the wires. And I kind of go one loop on the left, then I go to the right and then I move in and I kind of bring it in the middle and then I go again to the left look to the left look to the right and then in the middle so of course there's only one spool of the beige 
in the whole thing uh, so there is less beige than anything else but I think it adds something very very special so now it's time to fluff it and uh, make it all beautiful so I'm obviously fluffing it I wanted that fluff look to it and I was just amazed how quickly this came together and not only that you think that oh my goodness all those um, all that gold is going to be very dominant and there's going to be a lot of it but it's not it's so subtle I can totally see that I can display this wreath all year round it's so beautiful the colors are gorgeous and it was so so inexpensive well my friends I hope you enjoy this tutorial let me know if you're gonna give it a try and let me let me know what you think about the project well, with that being said till next time ta -ta.